Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for oh around December 1st. Let's just see what comes up. Keep in mind the timing is fluid. December 1st is just a number. So, what do we got? What do we got? I just saw the King of Wands. So the King of Wands is taking action. Somebody's about to take action. They may see something and decide to take action suddenly. They may get some vision. They may see it. Obviously, that's what it is. That's what I see. It's like, I can see it. I have my eyes closed, okay? It's like, they see something and they jump. They leap. They take that jump. So this is like taking action. Very quick action. Hmm. Unfinished business. So there is a feeling of unfinished business here. Lack of closure, feeling incomplete. Somebody, I mean, when the world is reversed, it's like there's a lack of things completing as they should. Maybe something completed um, before it was time. Do you know what I mean? That kind of thing. There's a level of unfinished business here. Queen of Cups could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. It could be a very emotional time. Something is probably ending abruptly without notice. It's like this is that's what I feel like this is. It's like an abrupt ending without notice. It could be very emotional, very intense. Maybe somebody saw it coming. Ooh. Now the devil. The devil is unhealthy, toxic. Greedy, selfish, manipulation, manipulative. Somebody could be dealing with a Capricorn, but it doesn't have to be. Now, this is hell. Emotional hell. Somebody could be going through some sort of emotional hell. <laughs> it's not funny, but... It's definitely not funny, but that's what I, that's, that's what I see this as. Seven of Pentacles reversed. There's something that could go all the way back to seven years. Somebody could be reaping some, some of the, uh, well, maybe seven years ago, seven years ago, or I think it is years. So this is now they're reaping and it isn't a benefit. I'm trying to think of the word karma. Okay. It could be karma. You know, somebody may have went down the wrong road based on temptation, based on greed. And now there's a loss, something about seven years ago or seven months ago or seven something. Now, there's no growth. This is unrealistic. This is dissatisfying. It may have felt good for a minute. Somebody may have been emotionally satisfied for a minute or for maybe seven years or whatever. It doesn't have to be seven years. So don't get your panties in a bunch because of that. This is this is definitely satisfied right here, but the devil brings about instant gratification that only lasts for so long. It's all a trick. It's all a trick. It doesn't never last long, okay? So interesting. Ooh, it's time for a change. Yeehaw. This is good. So this is a change. Evolution. Things change. Seasons change. This could be Jupiter going from Sagittarius to Capricorn. Just saying. But anyhow. Um, what I see is, is a exchange. Okay? We do have an exchange here. Somebody has been... In, investing in something that has it's over okay it has no more growth it is over it's over even though this card is reversed it's over this cycle is over 
It may be uncomfortably over, but it's over. There's no more growth. So we definitely have a cycle that is over. There's going to be exchange. You know, it's like getting rid of one, getting rid of something for something better. So we do have something better coming. Hmm. There is a purpose. This is a purpose. There's a reason why things don't last. Something isn't last with the seven. It's not. It's over. It's done. It is definitely done. It's time for a change. It's time for something better. Somebody has been bound to something toxic and unhealthy that felt good for a period of time. But, and they didn't want to let it go, right? They didn't want it to edit, let it end because they had those memories of when it felt good or whatever. They have those feelings, right? But it's like, it's time for a change, whether you like it or not. It definitely is time for a change. Oh, definitely time for a change. The hey man reverse. This is upright. It's resisting change. Here, it's it, we got a big change happening. We definitely do have a big change happening. Um, somebody's been wasting their time, sacrificing themselves, holding on to something that was toxic and unhealthy. It was based on manipulation. It was based on lust. It was based on greed. Somebody may have been obsessed. <clears throat> Maybe with proving a point. But it feels as though somebody's power is being taken away or there's a loss of power or somebody misused their power. Now, these are both cards of magic, both of them. Somebody may have misused their power. Somebody's probably definitely going to be getting or has or is receiving some karma or some negative consequences for their misuse of power. It's like there's a power shift we have a power shift here. Somebody is losing their power. Okay, so we definitely have a power shift. There's going to be a loss here. There is. There is a loss. There's a loss of abundance. Somebody has been in a one-sided situation where they didn't, where it started out as uh, really too good to be true, and it really was too good to be true, okay? And it really, and it ended up being not what you thought it was going to be. It ended up being one-sided, uh, unbalanced, where one person was doing all the work and the other was not. One person was putting in a lot more effort than, than the other person. There's a loss here. There definitely is. Somebody was dealing with a tr real trickster. Seriously. Remember I said it was all a trick? Look at that shit. It was all a trick. It absolutely was all a trick. It was. But this this trick is is over. Okay, whether you like it or not, the trick's on you. It's like the joke is on you. All right, so I think that this this scheme, this this plot, this deception, okay, this lie, is over. It's, this is this is somebody was dealing with a very tricky, cunning individual who was is was causing. It was like this person was playing the martyr, playing the victim. But now there's definitely going to be an exchange of power. Somebody's losing their power. It's like they're losing their magic. They're losing their their ability to control. They are definitely losing their ability to control. Time's up. Time's up. There's going to be a rejection here. There is a rejection. Now, mm, let me just get some more cards. Serious manipulation here. 
<clears throat> excuse me, serious manip somebody's been manipulating heavily. But now we got somebody who sees the situation clearly. Somebody knows the truth. This is somebody who is very intelligent and intellectual. This is somebody who is very well read. I feel like we have somebody here that is making a decision. This guy makes a decision. It's like he knows what he needs to do and he just does it. Very firm. This, this guy, this, we have somebody here that has thought about this whole situation for a long time. They've thought about thought about the one sidedness. They've thought about the tricks. They've thought about the lies. They've thought about the manipulation. They've thought about the um, wasted time. I think we have this person is is a thinker. So we have somebody here that has thought long and hard about their whole situation. And it's like it's now it's time. They, it's like they've changed their mind. Changed their mind. They have. Somebody has changed their mind. Hmm. And it's like now they're no longer wanting to invest they're no longer wanting to invest in something. <laughs> what is this world card reversed? Six of cups reversed. There's some kind of, maybe there's some child abuse or there's some neglect or there's not wanting to go back. It's like, I don't want to go back to the past. I don't want to have anything. I don't want to do this anymore. I, that's what I feel with this. The world card. That's what we were clarifying. The world card reverse. It's like the six of cups reverse. There's, there's, Issues with the children, issues with the family, issue, there's, a, there's, there's, this isn't how I wanted it to be. This isn't what I remember. This isn't what it was supposed to be. That's what I'm getting from this. We have somebody here that is really thinking about their children and it, it feels as though there's regrets over rejecting their children or rejecting somebody. Be I don't know. It has to do with the children or the family. There's a, there's, there's a, there's a lot of nostalgia here. Like I said, this person is thinking, 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 thinking about the past, thinking about their the the lies and the deception and their poor choices because this is somebody that's driven by greed so somebody who's been driven by greed they invested in a situation that was built on greed built on things built on materialism built on all the wrong things and it's like now they're changing their mind about what they were investing in. It's like, I don't want to invest in that anymore. Now I see a situation clearly that wasn't healthy. That wasn't real. That was all trick. It was all, it was all a lie. It was all a lie. Something, something is coming to a, this person is making a decision to stop something, to put something to a stop. Dead halt. Something is coming to a dead halt. Somebody was driven by materialism. 
We talked about this. I, I know that's what this is. And they and I feel like they 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 like I said in the other reading, they see things differently. They see a situation clearly. They're putting something to a complete halt. I'm not going to give to this any anymore. Somebody could be. Um, could be experiencing a financial loss. This person changes their mind on their what, beneficiaries or their whatever it is. You know what I'm saying? Just saying somebody could could suffer a financial law because this person sees a situation clearly and things change. We definitely have a change here. Nine of somebody is very dissatisfied nine of cups reversed but with how things have turned out they were sold a glorious story they were they were sold that that pile of shit and bought it because it looked like chocolate <laughs> it's true and now they're really unhappy because they invested in that Shit. It didn't taste like chocolate. That's what we got here. So I think that somebody is about to experience a big loss because we have somebody here that is like saying goodbye without saying goodbye. Really unhappy. It's like, yeah, for a little while, it was great. They had it. Oh, it looked so good. It did. But it was all fake. It was all fake. It was all trick. It was all a lie. So I feel like we have, we have somebody here that is changing their mind. And they're very, 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 very regretful of their decisions. This one flipped over. It flipped over. Very sad and regretful and depressed over the choices that they have made. Seriously. Now there's going to be a painful separation. There is. This is a painful separation, the Three of Swords. There's heartache. There's heart pain. There's grief. There's suffering. And there is a rejection. Somebody could even be having heart problems. There is a, there is a painful loss here. Know that painful loss. There is. Somebody is choosing another option that is more stable, solid, and secure. They have been, may have been dealing with a uh, person that... Wasn't very caring, very wasn't very loving, wasn't as beautiful as they said they were. It's like now we have somebody here that is deciding to take a more practical approach. Act with integrity. It's like they have a golden opportunity. It's like they're rec they have an opportunity because it's a old golden opportunity in this guy's hands. This guy has an opportunity to build something more solid, perhaps. Choose another option. So I think we have somebody here that is choosing another option. And it's like they're letting go of this person that is... Not a very good mother. Not kind. Not tender. Not gentle. Gentle. Doesn't love unconditionally. This person is... Selfish and smothering and childish. This is letting go. So I think that we have somebody here that is making a choice... To let go of a selfish individual that doesn't really have anything to offer them, but 
lies and tricks and sneaky behavior. They may be taking their 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 opportunity, taking their stuff and going someplace else, choosing another option. Somebody's been in a state of confusion, but I don't think they're confused anymore. I think they're seeing a situation. Clearly, they're putting something to a complete halt and they're leaving without saying goodbye. That is what I got. Um... Yeah, I mean, there's nothing more to say. Somebody's been dealing with a very selfish individual who just doesn't know what love is. And I feel like this we have somebody else that is turning their back on that person because it's time. It's time. It's like all of us, and like I said in the other reading, it's like they just decide. It's like they do. They just decide that this is not... It's not what it was supposed to be. And I don't want to be here anymore. Goodbye. That's what we got. Good luck.